Hi, I'm Amy. This is House of Nash Eats, and today we are making tres leches cake. Okay, so to start out making our tres leches cake, I've got our oven preheating in the back at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we are going to start separating out our egg yolks from the egg whites. So I've got five eggs, and we're gonna put our egg whites in a smaller bowl and the yolks in a bigger bowl. And I find this is just easiest to do by cracking the egg open and then carefully like bouncing the yolk back and or transferring the yolk back and forth between the two halves of the shell. You just wanna be careful not to get any yolk in your egg white because that can make it harder to whip up into stiff peaks. Also make sure that the bowl that you're going to beat the egg whites in is really clean and free from any grease, um, which can also impede the height of your egg whites when you're whipping them. All right, so I'm gonna use my hand mixer to mix the egg whites first. And the reason I'm doing this part first is because we don't wanna get the fat from the egg yolks on our mixer. If I mix the egg whites first, I don't have to wash my beaters in between. I can just move this over to the egg yolks and sugar. Saves me a step, kind of lazy like that. So here we go. We're gonna mix these just until they start to get frothy. And then I'm going to add about one fourth of a cup of my sugar, which is one cup of total sugar. Only add about a fourth of it to your egg whites and beat them until stiff peaks form. Okay, so once they're light and frothy like this, this is when we're gonna start gradually adding the sugar. You don't wanna add it all at once. You want to add it maybe a tablespoon at a time just to help it dissolve a little bit better into your egg whites. And it also helps add a little volume to them. And this volume that you're creating right now is really what's going to help lighten the cake batter itself. Okay, and you can see that the egg whites are nice and stiff and they hold peaks when I lift the beaters out. And so we're gonna set those to the side and we'll add them in just a little bit. All right, now in our bigger bowl, we've got our five egg yolk and I'm going to add the rest of our granulated sugar. So it's about three fourths of a cup. It's one cup total. There's a printable recipe below where you can get all of the measurements in case I missed some here. We're just going to mix those together until they're creamy and light. So like about one minute. All right, and so now we're going to add our milk, which I've got a third of a cup of whole milk. You could use like low fat milk if that's what you have. And I've got a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And it might sound like there's a mistake here and there's, but there's not, there's no butter in tres leches cake. And the reason we don't include butter is it's harder for the cake to absorb the liquid that we're going to add to it if it has butter. A drier cake base lets it soak up all of those delicious three milks. So that's why we don't include any butter here. So we're gonna mix these in. And then I've got a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We'll mix all of those together. Okay, once that's done, you can pop your beaters out because we're going to do the rest by hand. So we've got our egg whites that have been beaten to stiff peaks. This volume is probably about like four cups of egg whites. We're gonna add all of it to our cake batter. And then we're just going to fold them in. I know everybody likes to joke about like, what does it mean to fold something in? And I will tell you, and I will show you, and then you can do it. Okay, so here's the secret to folding things in. Use J-shaped motions. If you put your spatula at the front of your bowl and bring it towards you and then kind of lift it up and go around on one side, kind of like making a J, and then scrape the bottom and sides of the bowl, it's folding it in. You're not stirring in a circular motion. You're lifting and letting the batter kind of drop onto itself. And the reason for this is we're trying to not completely deflate the egg whites and get rid of all that air that we put into them. So we're just scraping around, making sure that the batter on the bottom of the pan gets incorporated into those egg whites. So the batter is still nice and fluffy. And we just repeat that J shape motion until the batter looks pretty uniform. If you've seen Shit's Creek, you know what I'm talking about. Just fold it in. Um, oh, next step is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? 
What does folding the cheese mean? He folds it in. I, I understand that, but how, how do you fold it? Do you fold it in half like a piece of paper and drop it in the pot, or what do you do? David, I cannot show you everything. Okay, well, can you show me one thing? You just, here's what you do. Uh -huh. You just fold it in. Okay, I don't know how to fold broken cheese like that. And I don't know how to be any clearer. You take that thing that's in your hand, uh -huh. and you... If you say fold in one more time... It says fold it in! All right, so you can see the batter is nice and light and pretty much homogenous. The egg whites have been folded in so it's even, but it's still very light and there's like air bubbles in there. And now we're going to spray a nine by 13 inch pan and transfer our batter to the pan. All right, so I'm going to transfer our cake batter for our tres leches cake into our nine by 13 inch pan. And we're just going to spread, spread this out into an even layer. And it looks pretty thin, but the batter is going to rise up while it bake. Okay, and then this goes into a 350 degree oven for 25 to 35 minutes until it's clean when you insert a toothpick or a skewer in the center. Okay, so our cake has been out of the oven for a little while now, so it's had a chance to cool down. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the milk soaking mixture that goes on top of the tres leches cake. So I've got one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, and I've got one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Okay, and then the third milk, our tres leches, is half a cup of whole milk. Or you could use half and half or skim milk, basically whatever you have. And then we're going to whisk those together until they're all combined. So tres leches cake is a really popular cake in Mexico, but really all of Latin America. And my husband lived in Costa Rica for a couple of years and they would have tres leches cake there. Um, but he says mine is his favorite version of tres leches cake, so I would have to agree. Okay, and you can see the cake is nice and golden brown on top, and we're going to just use a fork and poke holes all over the top of our cake. Honestly, the more holes you poke, the easier the liquid is going to be able to soak down into the cake. This is like your original poke cake. Poke cakes are super popular and fun during the summer because they're served chilled usually, and they're light and refreshing. And this is probably our favorite one. Now this isn't a cake you would want to eat by itself. It's not super sweet on its own, and it's really dry. And the reason for that is it actually helps it soak up the three milks better. So once we've got all those holes poked in, we're going to pour our milk mixture over the top of it, and it's going to look like too much milk, like way too much milk, and it will puddle around it, but after two hours in the fridge, this will soak it all up and make for a wonderful, moist tres leches cake. So I like to go pretty evenly over the top of the cake, making sure I hit those holes, but also make sure you get the edges of the cake so that those get soaked too. Okay, so we've added all of our milk and it looks like a lot and it's really wet right now. Don't worry, it's all going to soak up and I'll show you the finished result in just a second. All right, so now we're going to make our whipped cream for the tres leches cake. And I've got a whole video on how to make whipped cream if you want more details on how to do that. But I'm making a little bit more than I do there. I've got two cups of heavy whipping cream and it's nice and cold and my bowl is cold. And I've got one fourth of a cup of powdered sugar. So I make this a little less sweet because there's so much sweetness in the three milks that go in the cake itself. And then I've got some vanilla extract. Okay, now we're just going to beat this until we've got stiff peaks. So we'll start at a low speed and then speed it up a little bit. Okay, and once your cream is holding its shape, but it's still nice and smooth, go ahead and stop. You can see that if I lift my beaters out, I get some peaks of cream still holding in there, and that's perfect for our whipped cream. All right, so I actually made another tres leches cake so I could have one that was already soaked. Um, so this has been soaking overnight with all of the three milks so that I could make this one. We're gonna share with friends. So I'm gonna take our chilled tres leches cake, we're gonna to top it with all of that fresh, sweetened whipped cream. And this is so good, you guys. Please make 
homemade whipped cream for this one because it's so much better than store-bought whipped cream. And especially with a cake like this, the flavors should be like fresh and light and creamy and delicious. And you just really get that from the fresh homemade whipped cream on top. So we're going to spread our whipped cream around in a nice generous layer. Doesn't have to be fancy. Okay. And then I like to dust just a little bit of cinnamon on top of this. Woo, that's too much. No big deal. So we're just going to lightly, try to lightly dust some cinnamon over the top. Okay, and that's it. We're going to slice this and garnish the top of each slice with a freshly sliced strawberry or maraschino cherry and serve it. All right, so I'm going to slice this. I like to slice it into nice big squares. So you usually get 12 to 15 servings from this, depending on the size of your slices. And then we're going to lift these out with a spatula. And you can see it's nice and moist and it's soaked up all of those delicious milks. We're gonna put this on a plate. This is mine. And then I'm going to fan out a strawberry that I sliced earlier and just use it to garnish the top. And there is our tres leches cake. Okay, now I get to have a taste of this tres leches cake. Okay. Mm. Oh, you guys, this one is so good. It's so moist and light with those wonderful, like sweet, creamy flavors from the three different kinds of milk and the soft cake layer with that teeny bit of cinnamon on top absolutely delicious. You're going to love this one. I hope you guys love this Tres Leches cake and make it all the time, whether it's for Cinco de Mayo or birthday parties or just because. If you like this recipe, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more great recipes just like this.